You already know what's the plan, nigga, get the bag. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get them bands. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get the bag. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get them bands. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get the bag. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get them bands. You already know what's the plan, nigga, get the bag. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, man. Rich Wear 313. Man, make sure y'all go follow them on all their platforms. Rich Wear 313. Go get y'all some sweet little trucker hats. Search the match. You know what I'm saying? And they got hoodies. Man, they got ski masks. Everything you need, man. You feel me? You can book a verse on there too, man. If you need something, you dig me. If y'all trying to shop online, y'all trying to get some fly merch. Y'all can hit them on richenough.net too, man. They taking online orders as we speak, man, right now, man. Hey, and get your code, man. Fucking with your boy. Inbox them on richenwear313, man. Get you a promo code, man. Tell them I sent you. You dig? Hey, get it. Get fresh. You already know what's the plan, nigga. Get them bands. You already know what's the plan, nigga. Get the bag. You already know what's the plan, nigga. Get them bands. You already know what's the plan, nigga. Get the bag. You already know what's the plan, nigga. Get them bands. Money in my hands, a lot of rubber bands. Well, I'll count the same figures. You can't be my man. See you, my man. Understand? You can't shake my hand. For sure, that man. For sure, that uh, got a good episode today, man. I got something good for us today. We gonna jump. We gonna jump right into it. Um, you know I gotta get my setup right every time. I need, I really do need like something that already come pre set up. Like for real, for real. I need something that that's already like pre set up. I, I need for real, but uh. I got four major credit cards y'all can use when investing. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we going to, I'm going to go ahead and get this motherfucking mic connected. We, on, um, we live. All right, bet. So these are four major credit cards y'all can use when investing, determining on whatever you're going to invest in. But uh, I'm going to break it down for y'all, give y'all a little bit more knowledge. And uh, make sure y'all share, share this information, man, because uh, I've been getting a lot of great response on it. And uh, shit, I really, that's really what makes a nigga just keep going. You know what I'm saying? The response that I'm getting on it, like, I'm letting, y'all letting me know I'm helping y'all. You feel me? And uh, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest flex. You feel me? So, please share and get this shit out there for me. Because shit, everybody don't be knowing about this shit. So, here you go. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, this shit basically simple, though, bro. Like, so, for everybody who got a business, who, like, thinking, like, damn, I need some extra funding, or you feel me, or shit, anything, you know, with with having a business and running it, anything can come up. But the good thing about it is, with it, like, I think $5,000, whatever it start. Whatever it took to start your business is deductible. So that's the good thing. So it could take up to $5,000 to start your business, but all of that is tax deductible. Basically what they saying is, shit, you're going to get that back in the, in the tax write-off. So that's good. That's what you're looking for. That's what you want. You know, so, it, so you won't be hesitant to go buy new equipment. You won't be hesitant to get the promotion you need. So that's basically what it is to get you up and running. For real, for real. I'm about to jump right into this though. Let me twist up this Mary Jane. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She's my main thing. Okay.
can't sing. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get some more, some more viewers, man. Share my shit so I can get some more viewers, so we can uh, really do do what we gotta do with this. <clears throat> but uh, let's jump into it then. All right, now for those, like I just said, who got a business that's like need some funding and shit like this, well, these credit cards you can use to secure funding, to secure extra stuff. You feel me? Um, low interest rates, very low interest rates. That's why I fuck with them. Very low interest rates, and it's like shit. They, you, you approve and qualify. Damn near instant. If not instant, the next day, the next 48 hours, you get approved for it. So, these is the ones you need to really just give you that boost. So, uh, the four major credit cards that you can use for investing is, number one, everybody know about it. All the scammers use this bank, but you could be using this bank as well for your use and your benefit and your business benefit because also it builds business credit as well and the first one is navy federal i know everybody been hearing about navy federal this that and the third with the scammers bring me this bring me that but shit, navy federal is also used for business funding as well so if you got a project bought a house or you just uh got an llc you know what i'm saying this is a route that you can take to secure extra funds so you can be able to do what you need to do with your business and that credit card is again navy federal now it it do have criteria, so you want to make sure your stuff is in order. You want to make sure your business is in order when you want to go apply for these. It does not fuck with your credit history or none of that, like credit report. It don't mess with none of that to get these or run to see if you apply for them. It does not mess with that, so that's a good thing. So, with that being said, get out here. Go get you a business. Here you go. One source of funding. Navy Fed credit card can't be the end it builds business credit. So, I mean, that's a no-brainer. The second one is PanFed Platinum Visa. Now, I don't know too much about this one, but I've been hearing good things about PanFed Platinum Visa. Like, this is another one, zero, like, uh, I mean, not zero, but very low interest. I think the interest rates on this is uh, anywhere from 2 to two to 3%. So... That's that's very low interest rate on getting that shit back. So that's that's like a no brainer with that as well. You feel me? Like, come on now, that low, and you gonna you, you zero, and I can zero, build my business zero, credit, and I can and I can uh, instantly go and buy what the fuck I need. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, man. Come on now, man. And what a lot of people do when they do secure these uh credit cards these business credit cards and shit like that when they do securities i'm gonna tell you a little hack i'm gonna tell you a hack on how to turn credit into cash okay so say you get say you go fill out and get the pen fed visa uh the visa mastercard say you fill out boom you appro you approve for it. you approve for damn near what let's just say 30 for 30 thousand Depending on if you got your stuff in order, that's depending on how how uh, how you know it'll go because they feel more comfortable giving you money if your uh, address is a business address, not a home address. You see what I'm saying? So you will get more with that. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, let's just say you you go ahead and you fill out get the you get the pen fed platinum visa. Boom. Now you're like, all right, I got this. I got, I got, uh, what, 30000 They give you 30000 on the PenFed 
platinum visa. You feel me? Now you take that thirty thousand, put that into your business. What you do is you buy. You buy all the materials you need for your business or you buy um, miscellaneous shit that stacks up. So say like you go and you and you uh, get a tab at, at the store, Best Buy, whatever the case may be, and it, and it come up to what? This is a crazy, ridiculous bill and it say it comes up to 12000 13000 14000 Okay, so you take that, you buy everything, you take it home. Now... What you do with that is you you wanna you wanna split pay that, so you 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 uh pay half of this on on your um half of this on your PenFed Platinum uh Visa you pay half of that on there then you pay a percentage of it on your debit with with the cash you see what I'm saying so now boom you probably out of uh two three thousand uh, out of cash. You see what I'm saying? But don't worry, you be getting this right back, right back. So what you do is you, you buy all them, the things, you take them, boom, wait day or two, go back, return. Every store has a return policy. So what the good thing about this is the way you purchased it, you purchased it with a split pay. So what you do is you go in, refund everything, have them put the the, uh, once they refund everything, have them put the the balance of what the refund was. Have them instead of putting it back onto your credit card, tell them to transfer the balance to the second card that was used in the transaction, your debit card. By them transferring that, that converts it into cash. There you go. You damn near have everything back that you spent in cash on your debit card so that's a hack for you <coughs> now everywhere you go might not have that or let you do it like that but majority of the places will let you do it like that so there you go you it might not be it might they might have a set limit on what you could return for cash they might not you see what i'm saying but the whole thing is how can i convert this credit into cash there you go and how can I fund my business quick, rapidly? That's what you want. So, now you up and running. You got twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 in cash. You feel me? You got another, what, um, 20, 20, no, 19, 18000 in credit that you can use for Various things, you see what I'm saying? For whatever business you choose to open, for whatever uh, venture you choose to invest in, for whatever you choose to do, you got capital and you got credit. So that always is a plus in business. So um, the third, the third credit card, very important, very important, very important. This 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 credit card, every entrepreneur should have it. Every entrepreneur should be looking at it. Everybody everybody that has a business should have it and should be looking at it. It's called the First Tech MasterCard. Now, the good thing about the First Tech MasterCard, they also give out loans. So now you're getting credit and you can get a loan from it. <coughs> but it takes, um, I think you got to be with them for... for Three months to six months to get a loan with your business. So you can also get a business credit card and they giving you a loan on top of that. So how much debt can you acquire that's good debt? All debt is not bad debt. So think about it. You can get the credit card, sit on the credit card, do transactions, handle your business, pay the bill. You know what I'm saying? You could be proof with the credit card for five thousand, ten thousand. You could say, "Well, fuck it, I want the loan," but I gotta sit with these motherfuckers. I gotta sit with uh first. Uh, I gotta sit with First Tech Mastercard. I gotta sit with them 
anywhere from 90 days to six months and then i could get a a, a nice loan that's you feel me that's that that take a little pressure off your shoulder now these loans you ain't got to pay them back i think you you could you could uh how did, how did, I, I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to, oh, let me see. I can uh, get that information for you right now. <clears throat> so the first tech, the first tech MasterCard, the payback system, you could pay it back. Um, it says 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. So you got up to three years to pay them back for the loan. Not the credit card. Credit card every month, you know, that's like a standard bill. But the loan, you got up to three years to pay them back. Now, you know, the longer it takes, the more interest. But it's a low interest rate. That's another thing that that is a plus for you as being a business owner. Low interest rate. So, But the longer you do take to pay them back, the more it's going to cost. Please understand that. So, with that, you got... Um, the first tag MasterCard, that's what you can get the loan and they're going to give you a nice amount of business credit to run through, you know. So with that being said, figure out what you want to do and go approach it. Now you got the first tag MasterCard behind you probably with, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't, they don't normally do big, huge amounts like 50,000 to 100,000 unless you've been with them and you show it and you establish more credit with them. So don't get into that looking for the big one. You got to establish credit like with anyone. You will have to establish a credit history as long as you was paying it on time. It's going to get paid. Shit like that. Simple shit. Business, money coming in back and forth from your account. They're going to have to see that. So uh, <clears throat> more likely... You're going to have to play the long game and get the big loan, period. That's for if you're just trying to blow up, take your shit to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Just being real with you. Uh, <clears throat> now, this one, the fourth credit card, gravy. This one is gravy. And it's, 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 it's built for an entrepreneur. How can I say it's built for an entrepreneur? Is made for a hustler. So, <coughs> when you running around in this game and you got your different businesses or you doing this or you doing that and it's like, I might be going into an area where I might not want to hold cash or I might not want to uh, exchange cash or have that. Okay, of course, they do get... Um, Cash App, PayPal, shit like that. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. But every teller and every merchant do, don't accept Cash App. And you can't get cash back. And you can't get... So it's a lot of little things you got to work out when you're traveling around the world. Going from here to there, there to there. Small rule times. You know what I'm saying? Working with your business. Depending on what business you got. You know what I'm saying? So this credit card... It takes all that out the water. You see what I mean? It takes everything. It don't matter where you at, where you you can get cash back, and you can have a credit line building business credit. And they also give you loans as well for your business. And the good thing about this, it only takes 90 days for them to start giving you a loan. That's the best thing. See what I'm saying? So... Um, this credit card that I'm it's, it's called the Alliant Cash Back Credit Card, Alliant Cash Back Credit Card. So, every write, write it down, put it in your notes. Every um entrepreneur, every hustler should take note and and have this in their wallet. Alliant Cash Back Credit Card. So, no matter where you at, you can get cash back. If it's on there, you can get cash back. If it ain't on there, you can get credit and get cash back. So that's a good thing about that credit card. No matter where you at, every major retailer takes them. So you could be in the middle of Nebraska. Cornfields. No service, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? 
but they got credit card readers or they got this and they got that. You might not have no cash. <coughs> Car break down. <coughs> they don't accept uh, cash app. They don't do this. They don't do that. They don't do that. You can for sure get your tire fixed because of, I'm, I'm quite sure that the tire place accept credit cards. But when you leaving and you going from that area, it's like you still gonna have to spend money. What if they don't have this? Or what if they don't accept this? What if? So it's like just to kill all that. Boom, get cash back. Boom, have your business. Have a little cash on you. You know what I'm saying? And it's, they give you a loan in 30 days. I mean, not 30 days. They give you a loan in 90 days. They you ain't got to pay back for, Thirty-six months. That's another one. They giving it to you quicker, and you ain't got to pay it back for thirty-six months. <coughs> so do the math. 30, thirty-six months. That's three years. That's three years that you ain't got to worry about. But but interest rates. The longer you take to pay it back, the higher the interest. I mean, the, the more you're going to pay back in interest. So do take that in mind once you're taking loans out from these places and taking loans from these credit card people. <coughs> but those are four credit cards you can use when investing in your business or just trying to get your business up and running with funding and capital. So I'm going to run through these again real quick for you so you ain't got no problems. The first one, the first credit card is Navy Fed. They don't give out loans, but they will. That credit limit is nice and healthy. You can get 50 or better with them. So Navy Fed, then we doing Pen Fed, Platinum Visa. Then you doing the First Tech MasterCard killing them then you're doing the alliant cash back credit card that's for all my hustlers or my entrepreneurs you know what i'm saying running back again navy fed then you're doing pen pen fed platinum visa then you're doing first tech mastercard then it's the alliant cash back credit card you can't beat them make sure y'all get familiar with these make sure y'all know these Make sure y'all using these. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no excuse now. You can go get you an LLC and go get you a credit card right off back. That's going to get you approved for 10 or better. 10 or better. I really want to say 20 or better because they real. you can get 20 about them real quick. So, I really want to say 20 or better in credit. So, do the math. You know what I'm saying? And you can get all three of these. I mean, you can get all four of these. So, do the math. They ain't really strict on how many you can have and shit like that. So you, you can have all these in your wallet working for you at the same time. That's a plus. <clears throat> now, with some, that was the news you could use. Nah, man, I'm, I, I'm, you know, this podcast is the grind. It's about grinding, man. You're going to learn something watching this motherfucker. You're going you're gonna to tap in. You're going to be like, what what'd he say? What was that? So I need for everybody to share this. Share, please share, please share. I'm asking it nicely. Please share. Tell your people to tap in. I just gave y'all four credit cards that y'all can just get instantly in that y'all can get loans in. It's going to be a high credit line that they approve you for. So that's four of them that y'all can get busy with. Tap in. You know what I'm saying? So just share it off of that knowledge. But uh, back, back to uh, what I was saying. Um, this podcast is, is, is about music, hustling, everything. Just getting up, getting off your ass and getting to the bag. That's what we're about. So we got a couple things coming up. We should have been getting to it earlier, but we just been, you know what I'm saying, fine-tuning, tweaking stuff. As y'all see, We got I got movie series dropping. 
I'm trying to get in my 50 cent bag, me and my brothers. Um, so that's what we've been doing, man. And all the game I've been getting, I've been using it, applying it towards these businesses. And shit, we're we, we going to do major things. Because uh, the game I'm giving y'all is the shit I'm trying to apply in my everyday life as well. So I ain't just giving it to y'all not trying to apply this shit. So obviously I know some of this shit working. You feel me? And it's going to work for y'all. So y'all got to use it. <clears throat> but as I was saying, we got movies coming, man. Um, the one that I'm very happy about and excited about is... That's what we call each other. Nah, that should be dropping very soon. We gon' we gon' um we gon' we, we gonna finish shooting the uh first and second episode this Saturday. So I will be posting like for anybody trying to get their acting on, trying to get in that, that road, that feel and grind, let's go. Um you can tap me in, uh, DM me. You know what I'm saying? And I set your schedule up to where we gonna be set up at so we can go ahead. Got we got whole scripts. This shit is legit. We got whole scripts. So you will be reading the script. You will be, you know what I'm saying, doing that. And it's called that's what we call each other. So we gonna we, we got some characters, but we trying to fill the whole character role scene in. So we will be shooting for that this Saturday. Um we'll be wrapping up see I mean episode one and we're gonna uh wrap up episode two. Um, and that should be releasing next month sometime. So stay tuned with that. We do got NRE Eel. He dropping. He dropping heat as well. He should be dropping in the next 7 to 14 days. He should be having some new heat for y'all. So stay tuned with that. And, um, shit, man. Um, we working. We hustling over here. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? I hope I can help y'all some type of way, but, uh, that's what we doing. You know, it's tax time. It is tax time. So, it's only right for Rizzy to come through with some tax help. I'm going to give you all a tax hack. Um, something I use every year. You feel me? Something that saved me money every year. <coughs> so, when people be complaining about being broke, I ain't hearing it because it's like, they got the information. They got the knowledge out here for you not to be broke. They got the, the cheat codes for you to stay ahead of the game. You just got to read the shit and put it to use. So, it's tax time. And I am about to give you all some uh, tax information. A little tax tip. This uh, episode is sponsored by Lunazel. You know what I'm saying? Take a shot and get to the tax uh, tips. Nah, I know y'all. Y'all like to shop. Y'all like to get it in, spend a couple dollars. So uh, let me help y'all save a couple dollars while y'all are spending them. For you business owners, it can be business owners. Um, corporations, whatever. When you going to go buy your clothes, so, you know, that's like what, and through your life, we spend the most on clothes, gas, and food. Through your life, do the math. Clothes, gas, and food. So, that's why they're going to give you a bigger write-off. So if you want to write off some clothes that you buy, you want to write off some shit that you buy, you feel me, for your business, this is how you do it. These are the steps you take to do it. And it's very simple. Like, it's simple, but it's going to save you a bag. So, say you go to the store, you be like, damn, okay, um, I got an event. It might not be an event for um, your job, but it's an event where you could secure a bag, where you could secure money, where you could secure some business for your business. And you have to go out and buy something. So say like you go out, you go buy a dog-ass shirt, dog-ass uh, pants, some shoes. Now, as long as you 
you might not, you might be like, ah, as long as you don't care about fucking it up just a little bit, but representing your brand, you going to get paid. And the good thing about this is everything dealing with this is tax deductible for your business as long as it's a possibility that by you having it on, you having it there, showing clear as day, it can lead you to get more money. <coughs> That's the only way it's going to be tax deductible. So, prime example, right now, I got my shirt on. You can see my shirt. You can see rich enough. You can see my brand. You can see, look, chain. Got my chain on. You can see my brand. You can see my business. So, I'm a walking billboard, essentially. So, at the end of the day, I can tax right off a lot of this stuff I got on. You feel me? So, that means if I got on um, never rich enough socks, I can write that off. Never rich enough drawers, I can write that off. Never rich enough pants, I can write that off. I got on never rich enough shirt, rich wear, I can write that off. I got on never rich enough chain, I can write that off, essentially. You see what I'm saying? So now my whole fit is a tax write off. And my whole fit could be seven, eight thousand plus your chain. That's another couple uh seven, eight thousand, ten thousand. That's a whole write off. A hundred percent. How? You might ask, how well how is this a hundred percent write off? How can I write off all of this? How can I do that, D? Like how how is I writing off all of that? Because, first of all, when you see me, don't you see my brand? When you see me, you're going to be asking, what's this, what's that? So, therefore, that's advertising. Therefore, that conversation can lead to you wanting to purchase some services from me. So, what did I just do there? You just seen my clothing or seen my chain and inquired about, hey, what's that? So, I told you what it was. This is my business. So, by me telling you my business and what I do, led to you spending dollars with me some type of way you know what i'm saying so that's why that is that counts as a tax deductible item which could be like i just explained your drawers socks pants shirt hat glasses hell that's why when you do have a brand i'm gonna give y'all uh, um Long, and, and long as it's visibly seen, like, you can visibly see this shit on me. Like, you can visibly see, like, you can visibly see, you can visibly see it. You see what I'm saying? So, ain't no denying what this is, what brand this is. But, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all, um, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a cheat code. A cheat code. There's a cheat code. Y'all like, damn. I like Rolex. I like Chanel. I like Gucci. I like all this shit. I like, I like, I like Gucci. I like Chanel. Um, Audemars. You know what I'm saying? I like this. I like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, long as your brand is showing on it, so you can go get a brand deal with Rolex. You can go get a brand deal with Chanel. You can go get a brand deal with Gucci. And wear that shit all day for free. What more can I say? But you can't get a brand deal with yourself. You're going to have to have a brand and, and business to get that deal. So by you getting that deal and your logo being placed on the Rolex. You can have 20, 30 of them bitches. You can go buy 20, 30 of them and they all tax deductible. Because Why? That's a brand deal. Logo clearly, visibly showing this. Watch could lead to a conversation to some money. <coughs> and it's advertising my brand. So at the end of the day, you can't beat that. So it's like, shit, your girl buying all them bags. Shit, baby. We gonna, we gonna um, fuck with them. We gonna organize a, a contract. We gonna get this going with them. And, um. We're going to put our brand stitched on that motherfucker everywhere you can see it. It might be ugly, but this shit free. So, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a hack for you. You know what I'm saying? For you people that like to shop. For you people that like to go splurge a little bit. As long as your brand 
and logo is clearly seen, stitched or or um pressed on, you good, man. You good. It's going to be tax deductible. And uh, the, the repairs of it is tax deductible. The upkeep is tax deductible. What it costs to get it stitched on, put on, is tax deductible. So that's that's all pluses. So you mean to tell me if I go get the new Amiri shit, the whole new Amiri fit, put my logo on that motherfucker, and write it off in taxes? Yeah. You lying. So you mean to tell you, I, I I can go get the whole Amiri fit, brand new Amiri fit. Now that's a luxury good, so it might it, it got to be it, it got to be necessary, but you know what I'm saying necessary but not excessive. So basically, what that's saying is okay, um, you might have a big event, some special, you gotta be looking flying, and that's where you will go get your Amiri fit. <laughs> Get your Mary fit. Put your logo on that motherfucker. Nice and neat. Nice and sweet. There you go. Make sure you keep your receipts tax deductible. Right off. There you go. I just told you how to get in this little shit. <coughs> for all my people that stuck around and watch. Brand new Mary fit for free. Or you might not want to get a Mary. Y'all niggas wearing chrome or y'all like chrome or Brand new chrome outfit for free. What baby say? We yeah, didn't know what marriage. <laughs> All right. So we gonna do chrome first. So fuck it. So uh prime example, another prime example. Y'all might y'all might have seen it. I know y'all seen it, cause I done seen it. All up and down uh Instagram, uh Twitter, Polo G the rapper. Now everybody like, ah oh, man, this this that and the third. Polo G just had the, he might have the biggest tax write-off of 2023. Period. He got that big-ass iPhone chain, that, that big-ass bulldog iPhone chain. Now, displaying his brand, displaying his shit, that, He's a walking billboard. What more can you ask? Like, they didn't say or put any specifics on how you could do it. So that's the good thing about it. So that's that's how he was able to do that, and that'd be the biggest tax write-off. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> also, that's that falls in the um, excessive but necessary as well. Ex I mean, uh, necessary but not excessive. That falls in that range as well. But it's up to his accountant or whatever. They gonna work that out. But when you go that big, it's not a risk. It's just a tax write-off. Y'all work it out in the end. So, um, man, that's, that's some game right there for you. You can uh, use that. I hope you can use that. If you if you can't, you illiterate or dumb. But yeah, um, we gonna um switch the gears. We gonna switch the gears. I know y'all seeing what's going on with Young Thug, man. This man look like he's stressed out, man. They didn't try to get his man a perk in broad day in court. I don't know how worse it's gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't try to get his man a perk broad day in court what 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 more could you do like what more could you say like what you gonna do like what the fuck like i don't want to say damn he fucked up he but it's it's a rap man like ain't how you gonna get back from that like I, I can see everything else, yeah. They they done copped out on you niggas taking pleas, all that. Like, like that was the topping. That was like the icing on the cake. A nigga walking up to this man, his his co-defendant walking up to him and giving him a perk. If that ain't the topping on the cake, I don't I don't know what it is because it's like it's like, man, what the fuck, nigga? 
I know Young Thug was like, nigga, you would do some dumb shit like that. Like, I this a federal, this a this a state case, man. I know they can have meetings with they. He probably Young Thug probably ain't trust his lawyer. But nigga, what the fuck was you thinking? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the niggas was thinking. He probably was looking at your thug like, man, you need this more than I do. But, but, nigga. It could have been dealt with better than that, man. We, we gonna, we gonna pray for your thug. We gonna, um, we gonna, we gonna send some shit up there for him. Because he, he, he facing a bad motherfucker and, and, and this shit, this shit, hey. It's like, damn. Is it gonna get any better? We don't know. We 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 don't know, but but shit. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Watch your crowd. Watch the people you around. You know what I'm saying? Like everything might be they might be hard, rah rah this, that, that, and the third. But watch your crowd. Watch the people you around. That's that's something that my mom always said. And she always told me that I just always, it just stuck with me. Watch who you be around because you ain't even got to get wrapped up in this shit. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. Like, you ain't even got to get wrapped up in this shit. You feel me? Like, if you move right, keep dummies from out your circle. You know what I'm saying? But when, but. I guess when you get that big, it's kind of hard keeping dummies from out your circle because the people you put on got dummies, and and they might not always convert how you converted to not doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a bigger, long term bag than what we got going on in the streets. Like a lot of motherfuckers ain't ain't um mature enough to understand that. Like that's where that's where I mature. That that's where I grew up at. Like. Man, it, it's a bigger bag out here. Like it when you when you laying down, waking up every day and seeing it, that's where the shit fuck fuck your head up. Like bro, like the streets, like they like this is the biggest, the biggest thing that stuck with me is man. Look, the streets are always gonna be there. In the meantime, I done got locked up. And came back, guess what? Them streets was always there. The streets was always there. The streets was the same. You know what I'm saying? Just different people. So, with that being said, it's like, shit, bro. Them opportunities ain't going to be the same. Them opportunities ain't going to be there always. So, you got to know how to man up, level up, man. Because at the end of the day, you can't always be a street nigga. Like, even... The street niggas back in the day had to level up. Like, the mob niggas, you, they used to be punks, and then they became mob men. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had to level up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so, <coughs> niggas be running from the level up. I ain't never ran from a level up. Because you know why? I, I love money, motherfucker. I love living good, motherfucker. I love not having to worry about shit. Because you know why? I done leveled up on shit. See what I'm saying? So, only thing I'm worried about is how the fuck I'm about to get more traffic. How the fuck I'm about to get more customers. How the fuck I'm about to hire some people. You know what I'm saying? How I'm about to get more money so I can hire some people. So, I can be like, look, hey, man, quit your job. Come work for me. I'm going I'm to I'm a, I'm a raise whatever you. Are you getting paid 16? I'm going to pay you 17. Come on. That's what I'm on. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm on, uh, and then using all this knowledge I just gave y'all, I just gave y'all four credit cards that y'all can use. Using this knowledge to be like shit, bro. You ain't never even got to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? We just got to educate ourselves. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm on. That's the level up I'm on. You feel me? So take that. Use these four credit cards if you got a business. If you're trying to do something, if you're trying to get some motion, there go four credit cards that can help you with the motion. Use that shit, man. And then I just gave y'all four at-home jobs. Five at-home jobs that y'all can do that, that's going to give y'all uh, some more motion. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come back on here 
with some other little shit for y'all. I, I got y'all. We locked in. Just share my shit. Get my shit out there, man. Let niggas know. This the motion game. We gonna have motion going into 2024. But all this shit, we gonna have motion. But I just gave y'all... Uh, uh, I just got y'all a free Mary fit or a free Chrome Heart fit, whatever fit y'all want to wear. Palm Angels, whatever fit Gallery Depot, whatever fit y'all want to get. I just gave y'all a free game on how to get it. Tax tip of the uh, uh, of the of the month. You feel me? So um, tap in, man. We live, man. We doing this shit. You feel me? This is Never Rich Enough Music Group, the Grind Podcast. You feel me? This the live stream section. We're going to get back to the podcast. And, man, when I find some more people I want to interview, you know what I'm saying, niggas be acting iffy and shit and all this. That's why I say share this, let niggas know, give them some noise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, We're going to get back to that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really focused on this acting shit. Like I said, we got, um, that's what we call each other, the episode coming out. It's going to be coming out in, I'm the boss. Me and bro the boss So it's gonna be coming out in, in the next 20 days You know what I'm saying We're gonna put it on the blogs Let y'all run it up You know what I'm saying And that's all black Independent And we doing it You know what I'm saying So support that If you don't support anything You gotta support your Your, your kind Your people You know what I'm saying And that's the biggest thing So uh Yeah we out Never Rich Enough Music Group The Grand Podcast Man Stay 